Okay, I'm sitting in my car and I'm going to try this. I bought this, it's a little water heater. It's called a beverage, uh, tw it's a 12 volt uh, beverage or water heater. I'm going to place it, I've got a cup here of water. It's uh, two cups. I'm gonna place it in the water. And it's got the um, cigarette lighter, um, you can see that. Plug that into the cigarette lighter of the car and see how quickly we can get this uh, water to heat up for us. So it gets, it's already warming up. You can hear that. I gotta keep that in the water. So the water's, oh. the water is uh, just right out of the tap. It was cold water and uh, it's already getting warm. I'll, uh, I'll lift that up again one more time just so you can hear how hot this little uh, heater. It's meant to keep your coffee, uh, I guess, or your tea warm, um, but I want to try hooking this up to a 12 volt battery I tried uh, with another little lithium ion battery that comes with a, a solar backpack, but I found out that the um, that, that little lithium ion battery is only a four volt and a 600 milliamp. This uh, this little water heater draws 10 amps. You can, I don't know if you can see that, but there's actually bubbles coming off of that uh, the heater. It gets extremely hot very fast. I think this water would come to a boil. It's only been in there for about a minute so far, and I see bubbles coming up. But because this runs off of a car battery, which is a 12 volt battery, and this uh, the lighter that it plugs into the socket draws 10 amps, I'd need to get a 12 volt battery that puts out at least 10 amps to get this uh, this little water heater to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a, um, a 12 volt battery with a minimum of 10 amps and uh, see if I can hook up a solar panel and then use this, uh, use that battery when it, once I get a full charge on it, trickle charge it and uh, use this little water heater to um, keep water from freezing. Yeah, that's, that water's already very uh, it's getting hot. It's very warm right now, and I don't know if you can see, but there's bubbles forming on the middle. Anyways, we'll uh, let this go and see how long it takes this water to come to a boil, if it'll come to a boil. But I think it would work in a large um, container of water if you could keep it running uh, overnight. It would keep it from freezing. Or if not, just this one, maybe if you had a couple of them, this is only a $7 seven dollar water uh, heater oh, that's extremely hot all right so I'll uh, film some more so here we are indoors just so you can see have a better look at the uh, the heater you can see bubbles have formed and this is the product here 799 no